Hi everyone. So today uh, we will continue with lesson seven, which is speaking and slash writing. So the theme for today is people and culture. So uh, we are going to talk about the topic of family ties. So for the first activity, I want you to write down words and expression for showing emotions. Okay, you can simply write anything that could convey expression. For example, maybe happiness or it could be sadness. So these are all sample words or expression that could convey emotion. The first one is happiness, joyful, sadness, surprise interesting and emotional so what i want you to do now is think about what can all of these words do and how to link all of this word with the topic for today we are going to learn about family ties so how can you use or link or connect all of this word with our topic for today think about it The first word that come to my mind is happiness, joyful, sadness, and maybe surprise. I think love, hate, and happy are the words that show emotion. I think sadness, smile, fear, and cry can convey emotion. Okay, so for the first activity, activity A, I want you to refer to textbook page 11. So, the question is, work with a partner and answer these questions. Okay, so I will be your partner and I will be asking you this question. The first question is, do you come from a big or small family? Second question, what do you enjoy doing with your family in your free time? How to answer the first question? Okay, do you come from a big or small family? If let's say you come from a, a big family, you can say, I come from a big family. If you come from a small family, you can easily say, I come from a small family. For the second question, what do you enjoy doing with your family in your free time? Okay, you can answer, I love to go to the beach and play beach volleyball in my free time. Or you could also say, I enjoy jogging at the park with my family during my free time. Or you could also say, I enjoy gardening, doing spring cleaning and helping my parents during my free time. Okay, after you finish answering both questions, I would like you to think about whether you like being in a big or small family. Why and why not? If let's say you answer, I love being in a big family, and then I would like to know why you choose so. And for the second question, I would like you to think about all your previous activities that you have done with your family. It could be anything. You could say that you probably have done cooking, baking, picnic, or having barbecue behind your house. So it could help you to answer this question. I come from a small family of six. I have only four siblings. I 
I came from a big family of seven siblings and parents. I came from a small family of four siblings and parents. I enjoy playing badminton, fishing, and beach walking at the beach with my family. to do gardening i plant a lot of vegetables around my house i plant the vegetables with my family and we sell it at the local market i enjoy a good lunch or dinner with my family I also love to go for a vacation with my mom and dad. So the next activity is activity C. Complete the sentences about the two photos above. So before we proceed with activity C, I would like you to look for useful expression in your textbook. This useful expression is to help you to describe the photos. Okay, look at the first one, lying on the floor. So. What is lying on the floor? Look at picture number two. There is a girl lying on the floor. In picture number one, the mother and the daughter is also lying on the floor. So it is completely up to you how to use this useful expression. There are several useful expressions given. The second one, I can see empty space in the foreground or background. If I would say I can see a happy family in the foreground, and or I can see a white snow field in the background. So it is completely up to you whether you want to say what is in the foreground or what is in the background. So you could try your best to describe the whole pictures. There are several more that you could try to experiment with. There's a white, there are four, she's got long, he's behind, in front, next to, on the right he's wearing okay to show what is the character or the male character is wearing she's empty space tall slim good looking okay this is where you complement the character so by using adjective you could explain how the character look like okay he or she's got long dark hair then the last one is they look empty space relax happy or easy going so again to remind you it is completely up to you to say what you understand or what you could see in the picture okay that's all okay let's move to activity c okay if you look at your textbook there are given several answers the first one is right background next to behind left foreground and on so look at the question there are seven questions altogether the first one is in the empty space i can see some trees second question the father and son are sitting empty space the sofa number three the woman in the white knitted sweater is empty space to her daughter number four in the empty space, there is a mother and daughter. Number five, the teenage girl is empty space, her sister. Number six, the boy in the striped t-shirt is on the empty space. Number seven, the father wearing the knitted hat is on the empty space okay so before you answer i want you i want to remind you to look at the photo so you could easily understand which is the correct answers and please don't forget to fill in the blank 
but do not this is just a reminder make sure you don't draw or you don't write on your textbook because that is belong to the government so what you need to do is take your notebook or anything to scribble on and then just simply write your answer there don't forget to do so okay let's discuss the answer number one in the background i can see some trees number two the father and son are sitting on the sofa number three the woman in the white knitted sweater is next to her daughter number four in the foreground there is a mother and daughter number five the teenage girl is behind her sister number six the boy in the striped t-shirt is on the left number seven the father wearing the knitted hat is on the right Number one, in the background, I can see some trees. Number two, the father and son are sitting on the sofa. Number three, the woman in the white knitted sweater is next to her daughter. Number four, in the foreground, there is a mother and daughter. Number five, the teenage girl is behind her sister. Number six, the boy in the striped t-shirt is on the left. Number seven, the father wearing the knitted hat is on the right. In the background, I can see a fireplace to warm up the house. In the foreground, I can see a happy family. The mother is teaching her daughter how to read. The father is playing chess. The father is wearing a knitted sweater. The house looks very comfortable. The family is enjoying the family gets together. In the background, there is a white snow feet. In the foreground, there is a family of four smiling happy. The daughter who stands in the middle has long black hair. The winter outing is fun. The family enjoy their evening walk. Okay, so before we end, I would like to share a few tips on speaking. Number one, use WH questions to plan what you want to say. So every time you are having difficulties, don't worry. What you need to do is ask, but do not say, just ask where, when, what, who, and then it could help you to further your conversation or to say more about the pictures secondly look at the picture look at the pictures carefully take notes and explain every aspect of the pictures in details so when you see the pictures imagine what you can see in the foreground background what the characters are wearing or you can also complement the characters for example the lady are looking beautiful or the lady is looking very slim okay the next one is give a very vivid description for example the lady in red has amazing black hair so by using adjective you can help the listener to imagine or grasp the idea better so that's all for today i hope you enjoy my lesson and see you next time